Hey YouTube, Moose Cow here, uh, back with our final recap video for our very first game of BBR. Um, we only played uh, Germany and kind of Russia's turn, and then um, at that point we were able to call it. Um, but uh, let's just go over the failure of Germany to um, take ground anywhere, basically. Um, Mike, it's the last turn. It's the last turn of our game. And Mike decided to just uh, suicide everything. And uh, he tried to take Moscow and of course did not pan out the way he wanted it to. So, um, yeah, uh, the Axis lose, as simple as that. He basically suicided everything and chiseled down Norway, so, so Northern Italy, Romania, and Moscow, but now he's completely wide open. Uh, not able to achieve the Axis victory points needed to win the game. Uh, he had seven, and those were all victory cities, basically. Um, he was close to getting world oil, close to getting resources. He could have gotten resources, but he suicided everything, you know, like I said. Didn't go after Urals and stuff, and uh, um, close to, somewhat close to getting Moscow, but um, that his um, accident of leaving Rome open uh, with only one blocker um, cost him the game. He probably would have won Moscow and sure enough as we were talking after the game ended um, he had forgotten that that was a new BBR rule so or a new rule for BBR so um, he was not at the time um, aware or thinking that Rome could be taken. So, um, yeah, we all made mistakes. Uh, all of us made mistakes as, uh, as different sides. Um, and uh, Mike really wants to do a rematch now that we've seen the mechanics of BBR in action and, uh, and all that. He wants to do a rematch and play the same sides. So, um, I think we'll do that. Um, I'm very excited to play Japan uh, with BBR. I've uh, been watching a lot of G.I. Joe's videos and how he does it. Um, very excited to play anyone, honestly. Playing the UK was it was just, it was a complete and total game changer compared to what it usually is. Um, just the fact that it only goes eight rounds, I love it. Um, you know, nine or optional nine or ten, but. Um, this game was very fast comparative to our other global games. You know, when you're trying to like play until the victory conditions have been met, and just uh, having the Axis uh, victory point um, uh, method is huge. Uh, I love it. We're big fans. Um, the tech development, while at first it's weird, and the many many times I had read it before actually playing it. I was off put by kind of how it's written and just the amount of money you need to pay, you need to pay in order to develop a tech. However, now that I've actually played it and am fully aware of how it works, I actually like it a lot. Uh, someone can't just get lucky and keep rolling sixes every turn that they, if they decide to develop tech. Um, it makes sense. It's introduced slowly, and one country can't go crazy on tech. America, <coughs> America. Um, so I don't know. Uh, this was our, like I said, it was our first game at BBR. We all made mistakes. Uh, I'm sure we're all going to do different mistakes our next game, but we've learned a lot, and we won't be repeating a lot of the things that happened in this game. I, for one, will never do a Toronto raid uh, on turn one as UK. I'll never again do it. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. Um. Yeah, no, this this game was great. I'm repeating myself at this point. Um, oh, here is the casualty boneyard dish. Again, this is all from Germany's turn. He just suicided everything and uh, tried to knock out as much stuff as possible. But he was, but uh, that air force, the, the United Air Force that we sent to Moscow, that we were able to send uh, a turn or two ago, saved is what saved Russia. 
or save Moscow specifically, but then being able to block and not be able uh, to block off the other resources and block off Stalingrad so he couldn't get to that, um, that saved, that, that won us the game. It, flipping Italy, taking away Romania, that won us the game. Uh, taking Italy, flipping France, and making him have to decide between one or the other because he couldn't, he couldn't get both. So he went for France again to get the money for, from France right away, but that allowed Italy, which had a major complex up in North Italy still, that allowed Italy to just build up, and he was never in a position to be able to take it. it and all the stuff that was happening over here, it took his air force away from the Eastern Front, and that just dealt a huge, massive blow. Um, he also attacked the his Kriegsmarine. He knocked out a uh, unit in a unit a destroyer in 104 successfully. Everything else uh, was killed in 109. Anyway, um, so that is our game, and uh, stay tuned till the next one, probably sometime later this month. Um, as always, roll the dice better.